welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at getting more out of Google Sites. All right, so here is an example site. Now in this example site, I've already linked some information in here. I've got a picture. I've thrown in some text. I've linked a spreadsheet. I've got a video. I've posted a YouTube. I've got a button which links to a form. Uh, pretty good. I've, I've learned the interface over here. I can insert a text box. I can insert an image. Uh, Google Drive, of course, allows us to link directly to files and things like that, which makes it really convenient to be able to put stuff in. One of the things I wanted to show you, though, is as you'll notice, and, and um, but one of the problems with linking a file directly like this is that it takes up a lot of space on the web page and it can start to get overwhelming when people are getting to a web page and just having to scroll and scroll and scroll. So another option that you can do to be able to share information is to take it to the next level. And I want to show you a neat little trick that you can do for getting documents out there without having to link them like this. So in a previous video, we talked about sharing. So I'm not going to go over how to share that. But I just wanted to show you right here, I've got this online classroom, which I've already started sharing some documents in there. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, please jump over uh, to that video and watch how to, how to configure sharing. Now that I have that folder view, or now that I have the folder itself shared, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert something from Drive, just like I normally would. But this time, when I navigate to it, training inserts, technology training, I'm going to select the folder without going into it. And by selecting just the folder, if I hit insert, you can see that right here, I get a preview of the folder itself. Now again, that folder needs to be shared publicly. But if that's the case, now I'm going to stretch this over. You can see when it was modified. You can see the list of files that are in it. We'll take up a little bit less space here. And now I'm going to republish this site. And of course, I get the example. Here's the old site. Here's the new one with the new changes. I'm going to hit publish. And now I'm going to jump over and take a look at that site. And you can see right here, if I refresh it and scroll down, there it is. So now I can simply click on the file directly and it will open up. This is a really great way to keep things organized and make it a lot easier to have a lot more documents and files on your Google site without making just huge windows and things all over the place. So now that I've done that though, let's make this easy to understand because right now, if somebody were to look at this page, they obviously, because my file was called third through fifth grade calendar project, or wait, is it third to fifth grade or is it, was it the third fifth grade calendar? It's kind of confusing, right? Which grade does this go to? So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the text. I'm going to give it, we'll call it third grade files. Whoops. And now I'm going to grab that drag handle and I'm going to wait until that line is sitting right on top of the edge of that window and that will dock it together. So now that is the heading of this. So that window is now related to third grade files. If I try to move it, it's moving both of them. So it's now labeled what I want it to be labeled. Now the advantage here is, let's say I don't need it quite that wide, and I were to go in and add another calendar view. I know I'm choosing the same folder, but imagine you had a second folder. I can drop that next to it. This would be fourth grade files. And I'm going to grab that drag handle and do the same thing. I'm going to drop it on the top edge of the window. And now I'm going to change that to a heading. And now you can already see this is starting to look pretty good. Right? Now imagine we duplicate this section. And just bear with me. Imagine we've got fifth grade. We've got sixth grade, right? So you can see that now it's starting to look repetitive again, and that's a little bit harder to find. So this is where I encourage you to take advantage of this styling option. We're over here. 
I can give it a different background. See how much clearer that becomes just to designate that simple background color? Now I can remember, oh yeah, my fourth grade, I'm in the dark blue section, so it's easier to find the files um, and get things organized. So that's the first method. Uh, what we're going to do, I think I'm going to end it here, and I'm going to come back with a second video, which we will discuss how to do multiple pages and start expanding on these sites and get things a little bit better organized uh, so we can start getting more ideas.